Henri Borel, he's just some French guy. His dream is being a performer, and his dream is like he's supposed to really take over the family business. They're a very successful textile fabric company and powerful family, conservative family. They were very influential during the resistance and everything in Paris at that time. He has this constant struggle between what's expected of him and what his like real desires are. This is like that's his internal struggle throughout the whole show from taking over the family company to this woman that he knows he loves but does he want to be with her for his lifetime and marry her and start a family? Does that come from a true place of love and passion or does that come from a place of responsibility and what's expected of him? It could all fall to pieces and then he could be disowned and not loved by his family anymore. His dreams and his wants are, are completely tied to his fears, which is interesting, I think. If you were to take me and somehow put me in Paris, somehow have my parents be wealthy and powerful and live through the occupation in France in World War II, it would be me. Stay away to paradise. It is, it, it truly is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> like, I'm not a kid, you know what I mean? And I always saw like, oh, now I'm on Broadway, I'll have a big number like this. Nope, hasn't happened. This is my sixth Broadway show. And I'm finally doing the kind of number I, like, used to fantasize about when I was a kid seeing these like MGM musicals and Judy Garland and Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly and these in these shows and now I'm doing one of these Ziegfeld Follies type numbers and it's awesome. <laughs>